Looks like former Congressman Anthony Weiner will be headed to prison soon, but the saga of Anthony Weiner continues. The FBI now says it found thousands of Huma Abedin's files on Weiner's confiscated laptop computer and will release all of them by the end of the year. Tom Fitton is the president of Judicial Watch. His lawsuit against the State Department caused those documents to come to light, and he joins us tonight to explain what they mean. Tom, thanks for joining us. Hey, Tucker. I'm sorry to superimpose you against a picture of Anthony Weiner's chest. Um, what's the significance of these documents? Well, they're new documents. We don't know what's in them yet, but Yuma Abedin had an email account on Hillary Clinton's server. So these are emails from Hillary Clinton's server right. that were on Anthony Weiner's laptop. And the FBI picked them up last year, the end of last year. Remember, Mr. Comey was yes. yelled at for highlighting the fact they found this information that they needed to evaluate. Well, it turns out they had nearly 3,000 government records on Wiener's laptop. And now we're going to get access to them by the end of the year. We don't know what's releasable and, and to us. And they were government records? Yeah, they were government records. The government acknowledged that. And uh, based on the other Aberdeen emails that we have, which involve pay to play, classified information, Hillary Clinton emails that we hadn't seen before that she didn't turn over and tried to delete, you know, I suspect there's going to be classified material among this, uh, these new records. So this is another example of top government officials like Yuma Abedin and Hillary Clinton having classified materials in places they weren't allowed to, which are violations of criminal law, despite Mr. Comey's opinions to the contrary. And moreover, when we spent the last year talking about Russian hacking, I mean, clearly it's not safe to keep government data on a private computer. The larger question, though, is why are we learning about this now? Oh, it took them that forever to get them to us. Uh, the, but why? I mean, I thought we had a freedom of information law that requires oh, the government to Oh, we're, well, well, the only reason we're getting this information is we're in court about it. Uh, and we demanded access to the information because we wanted Aberdeen's government emails from this secret account. And uh, the FBI found these records last year. They took forever to turn them over to the State Department. The State Department got them last June. Wait, but do these documents belong to the FBI or do they belong to the American people? Well, the I FBI thought. found them. And they found that they were State Department records. Right. They turned them over to the State Department uh, many months ago, and now we're finally learning uh, the analysis has been done because there are records that we won't get because they may be actually personal records of Miss Abedin or Wien or whoever. So, uh, but we now know there are 3,000 government records that we want to. It just we're seems be like able, I hear the same story all to. the time. The government has a legal requirement to turn over non classified documents when citizens request it, when journalists request it, groups like yours request it. And they don't again and again. How do they get around that law? Well, they ignore it, and you just have to push in the courts for it. And this to me is something, an opportunity for President Trump. Uh, to kind of initiate a transparency revolution by getting this information out as quickly as possible. We know the FBI went and found the emails that Mrs. Clinton tried to delete, and they found some of them or recovered them. The State Department has them. We don't know when we're going to get those. As, at the current schedule, the State Department wants to release all of Mrs. Clinton's emails to us that they still have and haven't released at a rate that would make them, at a rate that would allow us to finally get them all in the year 2020. So there are still thousands of documents being withheld from the Kennedy assassination over 50 years ago, and the CIA is now arguing, we're going to do a story on this tomorrow, that they need to hold them for another 25 years. If people knew the amount of information that belongs to them being held by government bureaucrats and officials, they would freak out, I yeah, think. I think we sued over that, too. Oh, good for you. Tom Fitton, great to see you. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. You're doing the Lord's work.